everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ben and I'm a photographer and videographer based in North Wales. I don't know how this completely slipped me by, but Sony, a couple of months ago, finally released the software to use your Sony Alpha cameras as a webcam. I think they had done that to a slightly earlier date for Windows users, but we now have it on Mac as well, and it's a really easy process. So that's what we're going to do today. And just as Proofite works, this is my webcam right now. So literally all you need to do this is your Sony Alpha camera. I'm using the a7R 4 here, but I have also tested it with the a7 III. As well as a USB cable, I'm using a Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C to Type-C to connect to my MacBook Pro. And that is it in terms of video. You will still need a separate audio source. This doesn't actually use the camera's audio, but you can also record on the camera whilst streaming. So that's handy even if you just want to use it as scratch audio. So I've already done this process on the MacBook Pro and this is proof that it works. So we're going to switch over to the Mac Mini and go through the whole process. It'll take no time at all. Okay, so all we're going to do to start with is go online and go to the Sony support website. I'll leave a link to this page in the description down below. So this is a dedicated page for the Imaging Edge webcam. This isn't even really a program that you're installing. It's more like a plugin. So very simply from here, all we need to do is scroll down, make sure that your computer is compatible and operating system. And then from the list here, we just choose the models that we are using or are hoping to use in the future. So a7 III, a7R4, a7S III. And then just down here, the big blue buttons, choose either Windows if you're on Windows or Mac if you're on Mac. That will download our file. This should take you less than a second, but I live in Wales. Come on. There we go. So once that's finished downloading, we'll open the file. This will open this window here. We just need to double click on the PKG file to start installing the program. Very easy, go through all the steps, agree to all of the things. Install, continue installation. Installation was successful. So we can click restart, send that to the pin, and then just wait for the machine to reboot. Okay, now the computer's rebooted. We are back just on our desktop. And if we go into Launchpad, you will not see any new applications or anything, anything to do with Imaging Edge. So I've got nothing new in there. What we need to do now is go through our camera's network settings make sure that we've got them all set up correctly. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that the control with smartphone function is switched off. Next, we go into the PC remote function and switch on PC remote. And then still in PC remote function, go into the connection settings and choose USB. These settings will vary slightly depending on what model you've got, but they're all listed over on the website. Now we can just open up the port on our cameras in most cases, it will be a USB Type-C port. I'm using a USB to USB Type-C cable. In fact, it's a Thunderbolt 3 cable. We'll just plug that straight in. On the rear LCD, it will probably say connecting. And then we can go into whatever program you're using, whether it's OBS for streaming or Zoom or Discord, Skype, whatever you're using for video calls. We can go over in there, go to our settings, and under our video settings, we'll just have to allow access to camera and it's automatically picked up the Sony camera imaging edge. So right now, as I'm moving around, you can see that it's moving with it. There's a slight delay, but nothing 
too worrisome at all. We can change to original aspect ratio, which is 16 by 9 anyway. We can change it to HD image, which does that look any different? It looks a little bit sharper, but if you've got a poor internet connection like me, I wouldn't bother with that. And I would usually just switch off the mirror my video. There we go. So a few pointers. Like I mentioned, you will not be able to take the audio from the camera. It is just the video feed. So as an example, this is my current setup. I've got the Rode NTG 4 Plus plugged into the Zoom H1 audio recorder, which is wired into the computer as well, using it as a audio interface. I did a video all about this, but with the Zoom H5 audio recorder, I'll link that up here. And then we can see the camera is up here. It's actually attached using a magic arm and clamp at the back of my little stand coming around the edge of the monitor and then I've still got the microphone on there because I'm currently recording right now but if you're not recording through the camera you don't need to worry about that at all. In terms of camera settings for video I would go into video mode. If you're not that familiar with video shooting I would just put it into P mode It'll do everything automatically for you. I'd put it into auto white balance. And in terms of focus, I would always put it into AFC and zone autofocus. That gives you a nice big square and anything within that square stays in focus. And then I'd also allow USB power supply. That means it's slowly charging your camera while it's being used but I would also put a fully charged battery in there if you're on a very long call. And then finally, most importantly, when it comes to video and photo, lighting. Make sure you're lit fairly well. If you don't have any lights at all, go next to a window. Get some natural light on yourself. Obviously, I do it for a living. I've got my big old Aperture 120D up behind me, as well as the little Aperture MC on top of my monitor and just casting some RGB in the background. And that is it, it is that simple. I probably made it a little more complicated than it needs to be, really. So if you like this video, please do give it a like, share it to your friends if they have so many cameras as well. If you wanna see more like this, please do consider hitting subscribe down below. Like I say, I've got the link to the Sony website in the description below, as well as affiliate links to a few of the items I've mentioned. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something from it and I'll see you in the next video.